Hey, it's Ryan from UpfitSupply.com, and in this video, we're gonna show you all the differences between the O3 and the new O4 series boxes from WeatherGuard. Let's get into it. All right, what I have here are two identical, low profile, uh, full size saddle boxes from WeatherGuard. On my left, we have a O3 series, third generation, uh style box and over here we have the 04 series or the fourth generation box and as you can see they look almost identical the sizing is 100 percent the same they fit the same way the weights are pretty much identical but there are just a few differences and improvements that weatherguard made to the 04 series box that i want to show you uh, in this video. So uh, right away, these both open the same way with the push button weather guard uh, opening. So one button here opens the latch. It's got the gas stretch in there. It's gonna open the side. Same thing here on the 03 box as well. But uh, most of the differences of these boxes you're going to see on not really anywhere because there's just a couple of changes on the inside and a couple on the outside. So I wanna point out a couple of those to you right now. So here on the inside, our little latching mechanisms here have been updated from the O3 style over here. They've just made some improvements that make it a nice easier opening and uh, closing of the box no snags or anything like that. Besides that, pretty much everything on the inside is the same. You're still gonna get your accessory tray right here. We haven't opened it in our O3 box. On this side, it's still packaged, but you still get the same 615. Accessory tray installs the same way here on these channels. The build of these boxes is almost identical. Same struts, same latches up here, same big weather guard advertisement on the back of the lid, all your registration. Everything is basically the same on the inside of these boxes with the exception of those latches. Now, the other big improvement that they made to the 04 box is, well, beginning in the 03 box, they, they came out with these new push button style locks that you uh, code them when you essentially install it or um, use them for the first time. So it comes with these OEM grade keys like this. These are like your old fashioned uh, car keys back before they, they came up with the kind of the keyless key fobs and all that. But they're, they're super heavy duty. It's not just like your standard padlock key. And that's one of the things that has set WeatherGuard apart from other box manufacturers out there is just the quality of the keys that they use on their locking mechanisms. And so the thing that they came out with with the O3 boxes is the ability to code these locks uh, essentially when you use the key for the first time. And so there's a, you know, they come here zip tied inside the box with a little key card and how to code them. You put them in there, you turn it three quarters of a turn, you pull it out and then it's keyed or the, the lock is keyed to this particular key. There's a code on the key, and then you can use this same key for your low side boxes or other O3 series boxes um, across your fleet or across uh, your truck. And so that was one thing that they came out with, with the O3 boxes. They carried that across to the O4 series. It looks like they're the exact same keys. Um, but there is one minor difference that you would almost not even notice. So when I lock this O3 box and I pull the key out, the button still stays out and it's just locked. You can't push it in. So there's not really any visual indicator that the box is locked when you're looking at it because um, it's in the same position that that little that button would be in if it was unlocked. Now you could see that the little keyhole is positioned in a, in a vertical orientation as opposed to horizontal, and then you would know it's locked, but it's not super clear that the box is locked. Now the thing that they did on the 04 series box is once you lock it, let me get my key for this box. You put it in the lock stage. You can leave it out like that if you want to, or you can push it in and it's fully engaged, it's fully locked, and you know that it is locked. You can't get in the box. So it's just a little visual indicator that they made on these locks. They also seem to like code a little bit smoother than the O3 box. So I don't know if they made some improvements on the inside of those locks as well. 
There's other uh, minor styling changes that they made to these boxes as well. You can see on the placards on the sides and here on the main uh, back of the, or front of the lid is they changed the way that this weather guard placard attaches. This almost has like more of an industrial rivets and this is just kind of like your standard emblem on the front and sides of the box. But besides that, they basically share all the same features. You still have these cargo rings here that you can tie down some light uh, things in the bed if you need to you know, attach a ladder or something like that to keep it from moving around. You've got those little tie downs. Now while this the styling of these tie downs are essentially the same, they did make minor improvement, it looks like, to the way that these attach to the inside of the box. We do have a plate back here with our two bolts securing it through here versus this one, which also has a plate with two different size bolts. So just a minor change that you notice here on the exterior with the way that it attaches to the box. But I think for the most part, it's exactly the same. They might've made some manufacturing improvements or, or something like that to make it a better tie down. The styling is exactly the same. The sizing is exactly the same. The stability is exactly the same. They still have that great weather guard um, top lid with these nice, long structural channels here that mean you have no wobble in this lid at all. So when you close it, both latches latch. You're not having to reach over to push that one down or, or whatever that may be. Um, so just a nice lid. You're not having to use the little turnkey things to, to open your, your crossover box that way. So they carried along a lot of those same things still available in our 03 box over here. Now the thing is if you're don't really care about the uh, push button lock and the updated little uh, latches and the new styling placard and you can get a deal on an O3 box, it's basically the same. You're gonna start discounting these as you know, try to liquidate inventory, things like that. I know we still have quite a few O3 boxes um, in our inventory as well. Now the O4 box is just being applied right now to the crossover boxes. So your saddle boxes like this and your low side boxes. So those are gonna be your boxes on the side of the bed, lower that kind of uh, match kind of the styling of your crossover box. That's the only boxes as of right now that are moving to the 04 series. The rest are staying on that 03 and there's some, even some older uh, chests and some boxes like that are still 0201s. Um, so this 04 series is just available right now for the crossover box and for the low side boxes. So just to recap those differences, number one is going to be the push button locks, the 04 series. When you lock them, the push button is now flush with the side of the box. So you can clearly tell that the box is locked. The 03 boxes, the button stays out when it's locked and you're gonna have to look at the orientation of the little keyhole to tell if it's locked or not. Second thing is they made improvement to the latching mechanisms. The third thing is going to be the minor changes to the little plates with the weather guard logo on them. And then the only other thing I could find was just the way that these tie downs attach to the box. And that is basically all of the improvements to the 04 series boxes. Now, if you're looking for any weather guard boxes, whether it be a saddle box or crossover box like these, or your low side boxes, your high side boxes, your underbody boxes, or your chest, whatever it may be, we've got you covered. I believe we ship weather guard out of 21 of our shipping centers. We've got over 45 across the country. So we've got items in stock near you. So it's going to get to you fast and cheap. So if you're looking for any weather guard products, be sure to check us out up at supply.com. Again, my name is Ryan. Have a good one.